this video, I'm going to teach you how to or show you how to sign on to my stat lab using uh, Blackboard. And in order to do this, what's going to end up happening is we're going to use a single sign on. And a single sign on just lets you, instead of going to the My Stat Lab website or the My Math Lab Pearson website, you can sign on and sign in to your homework from this course. So starting in this course, you'll see on this left hand side over here, we have the My Stat Lab homework link. If you click on this link, it'll populate a list of applications that are using my labs um, in this particular course. And so all you're going to do is click on one of these links. Any one of these links will take you there. I'll click on my lab stat all assignments. And by doing that, it's going to take me into Pearson's website. And you're going to sign this end user license agreement. And when you do that, it'll let you register for this course. So you don't need an actual course ID. And that's what a lot of people are gonna run into. They're gonna say, I need a course ID. If you do it correctly and you go through Blackboard to sign in, you don't need a course ID. As a matter of fact, what you're gonna have to do is this, in order to actually sign on, you're going to need an access code. You need to purchase an access code. When you get to this part, here's what's going to happen. You can sign in the Blackboard and after you do all this, you'll come down to this part right here where it says, for the access options, you either have a prepaid access code where you bought a book. You can use a credit card, which is what most people will probably do, use a credit card. Um, a lot of you will probably use your temporary access, which only gives you about two weeks of using it before you have to actually purchase. And then once that happens, you'll be able to, once you actually have an access code, you'll be able to actually sign in. So again, everything happens through Blackboard, though. We don't go to the actual Pearson website to do this. So make sure when you get in here, you don't need a course ID, but you do need an access code. The access code is what you purchase. It's going to be what you purchase.